Hello everyone, myself Mirza Gayaz Beg and I am an engineering tutor. I have 4 years of experience as a tutor. More than 10 batches has completed successfully. The pass percentage is awesome which is nearly 80 to 90 percent. In this video, I am going to explain you about engineering, engineering mass and the changes in it according to the regulations. In our Telangana, there are so many universities like JNTUH, OU, KU, SU. In all these universities, mass is mandatory. Meanwhile, coming to the JNTU, Usman University and Kakatiya University, in this all, engineering mass is playing a major role for the students. Coming to the JNTU, according to JNTUH, engineering mass is playing a major role for the students and students are facing many problems with engineering mathematics. This is happening due to a lack of paper presentation. Students are not making a good paper presentation in engineering mass. So I will explain everything about uh, paper presentation and how to maintain a paper presentation in GNTUH in my next video. Now coming to engineering mass. Now, engineering mass. It consists of mathematics 1. Mathematic 2, Mathematic 3, Mathematic 4 means M1, M2, M3, M4. M4. In this video, I am going to explain you about engineering Mathematic 1, M1, and the changes in it according to the regulations. In engineering, in GNTUH, they are many regulations like R09, R13, R15, R17, R18, R18 is present regulation, R18 is a present regulation in JNTUH. Now, what are the syllabus and what are the units in a M1 according to the regulation? I am going to explain here now. In R09 regulation, in R09 regulation, every subject consists of 8 units. Not only engineering mathematics, but also remaining all subjects are consist of 8 units. Uh, for example, in the M1 subject consists of 8 units like sequence and series functions and application linear differential equation with first and second order linear differential equation with higher order Laplace transform vector calculus integration and its application yet in it is applications of linear equation these are the eight units which are present in r09 regulation now coming to r13 regulation these eight units are divided and reduced to five units like in in engineering mathematics it consists of five units like matrices functions linear differential equation with first, second and higher order integration and its application 
लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म इन आर वन थी रेगुलेशन द यूनिट्स आर मैट्रिसेस फंक्शंस लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बीटा गामा फंक्शन एंड इंटीग्रेशन एंड एप्लीकेशन लैपलेस ट्रांसफॉर्म आर वन थ्री रेगुलेशन एंड आर वन फाइव रेगुलेशन आर सिमिलर देर इज नो चेंजेस इन द यूनिट्स एज वेल एज देर इज नो चेंजेस इन द सिलेबस वेल कमिंग टू द आर सिक्सटीन रेगुलेशन एम वन इज अगेन एम वन सिलेबस इज अगेन चेंजेस एंड फ्यू डिफरेंट यूनिट्स आर एडेड एंड फ्यू यूनिट्स आर डिवाइडेड लाइक फर्स्ट यूनिट इज लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट सेकेंड एंड हयर ऑर्डर सेकेंड यूनिट इज मैट्रिसेस थर्ड यूनिट इज आइगन वैक्टर आइगन वैल्यू फोर्थ यूनिट इज पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन Fifth unit is first order of a partial differential equation. Here you can notice that matrices is divided into two parts, and in the another unit partial differential equation and first order of partial differential is a subunits of a unit. Like this is the part one, this is the part two. Similarly, matrices is also divided into two parts. Matrices one, matrices two. Now coming to the present regulation, that is R18 regulation. It consists of five units: matrices, eigenvalue, eigenvector. Sequence and series, vector calculus, and and multivariable calculus, or partial differential and its application. You can notice that these units, sequence and series, and vector calculus are from the R zero nine regulation. And these matrices is again divided into two parts: matrices one and matrices two. These are all the information about the engineering maths and the changes in it according to the regulations. I hope you people get a maximum knowledge about the, about what I explain. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to be notified on every updates. Bye bye.